Hello there everyone and welcome back to Equestrian War in which we're playing as the Clan Skyfling in which right now we're doing the handle. Just like a weapon without handle cannot be used without hurting the wielder, so shall an army that is only the force of striking slowly destroy itself as it's ground down by a lack of equipment and resources. Such a position is not one that cannot be allowed. So we're going to go with that one, and I do want to race down here and to get that research slot as quick as possible, which shouldn't take too long. So um, we need all three of these, which is, oh, actually, I guess we have to take one, two, another one, five, six. Um, but we do need to talk about which direction we're going to go here. So we can do one of these or over here. But right now, what we're going to do is continue going down this way real quick. The spear tip. A spear without a point, an axe without a head, a sword without a blade would all be pointless weapons. Yet even a rusty or broken weapon can strike and kill. Our army is such, we do not have weapons for all of our forces. Yet with merely an axe or even a spear, your scene can slay a proper soldier of any other realm. So, But... Uh, let's see, we have 126 political power. We could go to partial mobilization very soon. Actually, does that hurt us? It hurts our research speed just a little bit, but that's honestly worth it. So after this one, the claws that hold it, uh, uh, the strength that pushes it. What would be best to get? Let's do this one. A weapon is worth nothing if one lacks strength to use it and to plunge it into the flesh of the enemy. We've wasted our old strength, but we can forge a new one to rip and tear our enemies until it's done. But it's very good, and we're working on naval doctrine. Working not too much on our air, our air, land doctrine. Um, propaganda master. We did give this person four more daily political power, which is nice. And we don't. Ooh, ooh, we could go here. What's our industry is really bad already. You know what? Let's just go work on our land auction. Eat off the white. Plus twelve percent organization is pretty good overall. We'll definitely need to raise its conscription level. Tank designer seems a little generic, but not bad. Panzer Bjorn Ama is better to produce. Um, claws that can hold it. Well, oh, the strength that pushes it. Okay, good. Um, up next, what do we have? We know the race, which is fine. We have low poverty, limited literacy. We're an agrarian society, which is bad, and a small science base, which is not good. But the binding that melds it. Weapons and armor are useless if one does not know how to use them to fight properly. Our kind is not known for any sort of technique, yet we do have arts and skill to fight beasts even greater than us. And now we must act and fight as if our nation is an earth scene uh, preparing to engage a dragon. So, yeah, it kind of sucks that we have only one. That really, really sucks. Um, but, you know, oh well, Ooh, military training. Ooh, that'd be good to do, but I want to get... I really want to focus on this. We have enough uh, command power for it anyways. Good. So the next thing we'll do is get this. Spend a little bit of command power, get a little more political power. Good stuff overall. Um, at least now we can edit our divisions, which is not bad. Do we? What do we have in reserve? Nothing. We have a few guns. If we can't, I want to use just like nothing but Panzerbjorn, because those sound freaking amazing. The claws that hold it. An axe is nothing without a warrior to use it. A suit of armor is nothing without flesh beneath it. Uh, we need more soldiers, always more, and thankfully, even in our situation, there's enough clanless whelps that can be uplifted. But, at the time of this recording, I did ask you guys yesterday what direction we should go. And at the time of... Uh-oh. Millennium. Um, at the time of this recording, there is more support between... To spread out and to move in between these two. There's more support for... To move in. So, for this route, we'll go to move in. I really want to spread out, but maybe next time we'll do that one. To move in. Even before the Unification Wars, Polar Bear Populace was of uh, small small to hold the clan borders properly, much less hold back foreign enemies. And with our current situation, there's no way of holding it all. Uh, we must treat concentrate, and become an unbreakable bedrock that can hold against all. So it sounds a little more defensive, but why not? But we'll do the, uh, the clan holds it next, which you should be able to do in a day. Very nice. And then, of course, the weapon is completed before we do that other stuff, too. The weapon we forge is not pretty. It is not. One of great artisanry. Or even one for wars, tested and true. But it can kill, and it will kill, and that is all that truly matters, of course. Um, go and grab that one next, because we need more output. We definitely need more armor. As long as we have artillery and support equipment, trains don't matter too much. Fighters are definitely going to matter. Um, but we're doing the best we can. So go and grab that real quick. And you know what? Train anyways, because that'll give slightly more. Not a lot more, but slightly more for now. Ooh. Um, so the claws that hold it. The weapon is completed. This would not be bad to do as well. The desolate lands of Svart Pellas, which we lose 50 political power, which is not nice. Oh. More research speed is good, as we'll get a, a radio. More reinforced radio. And that, what not. We get a more pony power. 50 things of Panzer Beyond Armor, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And as always, I will always praise the devs, because they do a fantastic job with this mod. Really flippin' fantastic. Cool, we move in. We're moving in, boys and girls. More daily air XP. We get nothing there. That helps out too. 
Five days left, not bad. But to move in after that. Supply up, infrastructure, four building slots. Um, build new towns and dig new caves. With its growth, the capital region can perhaps sustain the remaining earth scenes within our lands, however. It can most definitely not house them at all. Preparations have to be made if all bears are to endure with the last city. Oops, I should have done one before. Why did I choose that one? My bad. And stop training for now. You know, in the meantime, at the very least, start throwing some of this stuff on there. And we need at least 20 count width. Or I'll make him 21. There you go. It's not everybody that gets that. You don't need a training team. Anything over here? Uh, scavenger might be good for us. Fortress Buster. You know, go Scavenger. Just because we are going to be lacking quite a bit of equipment eventually. Alright, up next. We could improve working conditions. We could. Or we'll get some air stuff first. So we do this one, Roads of Ice and Iron. Even the last city and its surroundings are not prepared for the dangers that lay ahead. And the enemy we fight will possess superior numbers. Thus, we will have to match them by mobility, for only by being able to reinforce anywhere around the last city. Uh, we will endure the endless enemy hordes. Plunder the ruins of armories. Most cleansings were conducted as quickly as possible, often massively and with remnants of fortresses and often hold abandoned. Holds often abandoned to the elements, plunder left untouched. Perhaps it would be worth it to return to these cursed places and see what can be found. Transport remaining machine tools to the capital. Modern societies endure on production, science, research, technology. Even if both our dreams and our realms are devastated, we seek to endure. And thus, the carcass of the old must be a work for something that can sustain us anew. Now, then we'll pillage factorums, uh, uh, factotums for blueprints and tools. What's much difference between what weapons what clan produced and what technologies were available to who? Even after unification, much remain hidden in vaults. Well, now there isn't anyone who can exactly stop us from acquiring these. And then, of course, we'll build new fortresses around the capital. As the last bastion in the seemingly ever worsening conditions, the capital must never be the place of battle. It must be struck by the enemy. Thus, the beating heart of our corpse of a country must be protected by rings upon rings of fortifications. Well, they didn't work out so well for the Germans in World War II, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime, uh, polar bear technology. Oh, that's cool. More, oh, 100% more armor. That's nice. You know, we don't have a lot to start with, but still. And you know what? Since we're here, I'm going to probably do improve work conditions. We have a decent amount of war support, actually. But, and we, since we have basically no civvies anyways... You know, why not? Uh, so we'll do all that. Move population from the mountains. Even with the clan gone, reduce the ashes, there are many of Barrow of uh, former Volsinger are still roaming the mountains. We've crushed our armies and elders, and they must listen to us. Thus they will come to inhabit the city. Last city. Uh, desolate lands of Svartpels. We definitely want to get rid of that debuff. Uh, political power. The great clan of Svartpels believe that they, we were either replaced by the changings or subservient to them, and thus refuse to back down even after most of their elders and the best warriors were dead. Thus, their lands have been cleansed to a unique degree, even among the wasteland we created. The population from Tundra. The Westlandians are still numerous, still teeming in numbers, and even as their clans were crushed and griffin militias were butchered, but that is good. For our strength, the Brutal has earned us their loyalty, and now they'll file, fill out the, for now, yet empty final city. The few loyal and living that endure. There are few among the living who remain loyal and have the towns that we need. Yet nobody is stopping us from exploiting those that, we, that were ignored before, due to their mercenary or exile background. Furthermore, there are some with rather unique ideas, those who help may be worth tolerating their madness. And move population to the mountain. Oh, or Taiga. Not many bears inhabit the unforgiving lands of Olantair. Fewer endure brutality. The warrior clans are almost gone, of course, but the exiles of the clanless the abominable still endure. Before we wouldn't have relied on such beasts, but now we have no choice that remains. So because we did move in, we will uh some comms included. Uh the second left focus gives us a frost punk vibe. Uh, with a lot more uploads than the other one to, set, to spread out. Um, someone said, if you do spread out, you should choose the Wastar Hours. Wait, honestly, if you go down here too. But we, I'll, I'll do spread out eventually, and the Wastar Hours will make more sense. Um, so, we'll go to this the Owlbear, huh? Another comment was, after this, can you do Equestrian War as Harmonic Zerantia? Maybe. Someone says, Glory to the Northern Empires. Um, and then someone says, in this video, Mocha reads while people get off screen. You're darn right. The owlbear. Who are you, peasant whelp? To the question of the wisdom of my choice, York yelled at the upstart officer, disrupting Ulrich's promotion ceremony. Does your tongue run out ahead of your brain? Show me what remains of your shattered worth. So the owlbear of the hour watched the mauling molding unfold, his new uniform only half done, medals, ribbons, and a fancy griffin esque hat, just like his friends. This is witnesses to Paul's armor, tackling the predecessors as crunches and cracks echoed through the repurposed arena. The enemy's name flashed before Eric's mind, Klaptorsk, a lowly lieutenant, first met in Griffonia, who'd just given the griffin a few glances and insults. And you can fluff your feathers up all you want, Beaky. The fire and use prove that you can never be our kin. But with Paul pummeling Klaptorsk to the ground, his eyes erupted into applause. 
Ulrich saw empty seats. The empty spots in the crowd were before the cooler heads of the Bear Society had rallied behind Paul's ambition. Yet now it felt like one of the smartest creatures in the room, a terrifying prospect when everyone else, er, uh, other than the Paul, had sketchy histories, mercenary pasts. Jolly roars split his ears. The fight was finished. Paul raised Cop Torsk's severed leg into the air. Field Marshal Ulrich took the other leg and the Iron City. As it's written, the city spouts black smoke as the workshops spew out equipment for our armies, our towns, holds, and even the small caves around the capital are now dwelt with and by Ursines. We have forged Iron City, the last edge of civilization and land cursed by both nature and us, and it will survive. A new Skyfling Order. Cool. Become an industrializing society once again. And the Captain. Army of the Captain. A city alone, a singular city, cannot survive in those world on the continent spanning nation predators. No, for all, such a realm, such as this, to endure an army's needed. An army like no other, one that is loyal to the last city and is captain to the very brink of death. And then we'll go with this later. The land, and an abandon the wastes. There's nothing for us in these wastes. Too difficult to restore. Too hard to protect or even survey enemy movements with him. There's no future for the Ursines within him. The only thing we have left to do is to abandon this wasteland and erase some of the few bears still left elsewhere. And with that in mind, we're going to go probably go down this route. Because these are two separate ones, but it makes more sense for me to transport Svartpels or Remnants or Capital. Because we're going to shove everybody in here. Well, yeah, let's shove everybody in here. Let's grab some civvies first. And the Iron Capital, which is basically kind of going along the, to move in. And the Iron City, so Iron City, Iron Capital makes more sense to me. Transport Svartpels or Remnants to our capital. It's only within our capital where such a stream of fleeing creatures can be accumulated. Now to mention that it's within our closest and most direct domain where these Ursine resources can be put to most use. The Iron Capital. With an increase in Ursine population, not only in form of hiders, but also artisans and even laborers, a new opportunity has opened up for us. For now, we can expand the amount of steel we can rip from the depths of the earth without comp compromising our ability to produce equipment. Oh, me Mechanites and the Queen. With a few resources and bears moved from the former domain of Svartpels removed, we have no need for the land itself, however. Perhaps someone does. After all, we didn't finish touch penguin population domains. And thus, perhaps we could convince Pingland to buy some land from us. Uh, which is cool. And we definitely want to get the University of Matar uh, Fieren. Our capital, the so-called last city, is one place whose safety and security can now be ensured. Thus, it would be absurd to invest in our newfound resources anywhere else. Uh, thus, there's no place better than the capital to erect a new institution of learning and advancement. Political advisors, um, military. Uh, we already have this stuff. Ah, we definitely have to do this one, so. What else do we want? Oh, more sport, daily compliance course, damage garrisons. Research speed is not bad. Building stuff up is not bad either. Um, I want to go ahead and go to partial mobilization. So, it doesn't help us out that much, but three is better than one that we had overall. Two military reformers still kicking. There were reformers before Yurik returned and tried to forge something grander. However, they were not exactly radical and willing to fight for their ideals much. They survived and endured until now and are ready to uh, serve. Yep. An industrial roaming around. Industrialist. Eindrid was an exile for reasons forgotten. She marched with companies of mercenaries across Grifonia. Though surprisingly, instead of war, politics, or culture, Eindrid became fascinated with economics, especially when rural realms. So useful knowledge in the current position, of course. And the Mechanites and the Queen. Queen. Uh, the Mechan Mechanite cult are mad bears and abominations, believing that your scenes should ascend beyond what they believe to be our flesh prisons and became creatures of the mechanical. They're half insane, yet half genius, and are willing to align with us for now. And the fruits of their labor. Lessons in war. Lessons in foreign economics. economics. Lessons in esoteric technology. All beneath the well over tyrant and yielded results. Ooh, this would be cool. We do this one. But we can't quite do that one just yet. Oh no, the changelings demand oil. Iron Captain York has been approached by an envoy from the changelings, claiming to be dispatched by Chrysalis herself. A heavy military buildup is also underway. With troops massing at the border, we now face an uncomfortable situation. We likely cannot win an outright war, but nor do we want to give up our independence, even of our precious resources. The drone laid out Chrysalis' demands. They want a large deposit of our oil, and in exchange will offer protection to us, as well as technological and industri industrial aid. We could go with them. Um, or we could not. Which we do want to go to war economy, go to war with them ourselves. I just don't think we know... Uh, we'll go with this one. Um, but I don't... Just don't. Oh, hello. Oh, three more divisions? Uh, Polar Defense Force? That's nice. Um, we're just not in any shape to go to war. I mean, realistically... You know what? You guys go here... Give me the rest of the rest of these guys. You guys go over there. Um, so they're probably gonna go to war with us, which is not ideal. Also, I didn't realize we were on mass assault, which is also not very good for us. Um, so we're gonna do that, and we get more organization. And I think we're gonna go mass mobilization. I just don't think we have the numbers to do very much here. We really don't. So mass mobilization will give us eventually five percent more recruitable population, which is great because deep battle doesn't give you any more population. I thought it used to. 
And honestly, I prefer Deep Battle overall, but I think we're going to need the manpower. So, hopefully I'm wrong. But uh, we're transporting the Spartal still. Captain's Dream. And Iron Capital would be nice, because we do need a bit more steel here. So we're going to immediately do that one next. I'm just very worried about how this is going to work, because we just don't have enough equipment. I mean, we're already on three military factories. It takes a lot to build stuff up here. So, but if things go really, really bad for us, then uh, I'm going to make sure that no matter what happens, we are successful in the end. We'll put it like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it like that. Because we'll do that one. Um, weapons research, Griffonian Empire. We'll probably just do the army of the captain next, so. Yeah, I think we did this one earlier, so we're going to do this one. Explore the weakness of others. I don't mind going to war economy at the Great Push West, which wouldn't be bad. Don't have to do that one yet, as savage as us. Probably the captain's dream. For Paul return, he had a great dream of a North United. Sometimes he dreamed of a kingdom. Sometimes a republic, and always a great and prosperous land. Yet he buried it as a madness. Uh, grip the lands of winter and he was forced to slay his own but perhaps what is dead may never die but rise stronger I would really love for us to have an air force because we could really really use an air force oh god these ships are not very good they really are not very good at all um this is a armored cruiser huh and this is a battle ship I guess we'll go with the battleship, maybe? We don't have the resources for this, so. Go and train anyways. Iron Capital, very good. Army of the Captain, yes. And we'll do a proposal to the Penguin, Penguin Lands. That'd be nice next. So these guys are killing each other. Sailing guys are getting really thick. Equestria is still in their civil war, my god. Um, where's the rest of the world so far? I'm very worried about us going to war. So we're going to do that one. Since we can spare the funds. And we'll grab infantry equipment designer next, even though we are we do have a surplus of infantry equipment. But it's not a lot. We really need artillery, but we really need more Panzer Panzerborn equipment. As long as the enemy doesn't have piercing, we should be okay, but it's not saying very much. We get 1.69 political power every single day, which is nice. So yeah. We'll see. Our curious. Offer. And that's only seven days, which is actually pretty nice. Other than that, we've done a lot of the focuses we can do here. So, right, what was that? Angriver. Hope we get him as a puppet. But we'll see. Um, expand the sky fling tungsten mines. It seems that many of the improvements that our university predicts for a weaponry might require far greater amounts of resources than we possess now. While some of these goals are downright impossible to meet, there are more modern predictions are for something that can be arranged for. Good. Expand the Maltair Ferlin research facility. The only option left is to achieve victory through overwhelming firepower. Thus, we will concentrate our research and resources in advancing the state of artillery. Perhaps this is not as eye catching as some of the map projects we could do, but it, it works. Weapons which spew iron. Oh god. Even if crushing the enemy with artillery is more efficient, that's not the bare way. For there's no br brutality up close or the clash of melee. And even in this dreadful situation, we should not forget that we are bears after all. Thus, infantry weapons, even now, remain an important investment. Oh god. Wait, who's attacking us? Penguins, except. Convoys filled with material extended into the horizon. I have sulked with various resources to reach the few ports that exist, uh, still exist. The deal has gone through, and penguins have accepted our proposal. While the leaderships of our state have not met an agreement, uh, have not met an agreement has been reached. Oh, we have we changed poverty. Nice. While some bears, especially a few surviving warmongers and former exiles, have shown displeasure, claiming that we're betraying our race, our clan, and our doctrine, whatever they imagined it being, thankfully there have been no conflicts with the penguin forces that are moving into the uh, desolate realm. Now that is not theirs. Small victories in these crusades. Oh, look at that! Oh, but we get... Oh, God. We give him stuff. What do we give him? Oh, no, no. They become, oh, God. Was that really worth it? Giving him all that stuff? Who's attacking us? Changing lands. Hap happy drunkard. Oh, they're actually attacking us now. They actually... Have, oh, God, they have tanks. And they have more uh, intel advantage too, which is not good. How many how many battles are they doing? Oh my goodness. We need engineers too. Um, Sporkman is not bad. It's actually pretty decent, to be told. I don't think we have 
let's put them down here. No, we don't. And for infantry, polar infantry, uh, we have to get artillery. Um, you know what? We're gonna keep. We're not even gonna edit that too. Much. Well, we need. Hey, the mighty bear wins again. Look at that. Happy drunkard. Oh, there we go. We have sent them our sent them packing. Our territory and land are safe from their clutches once again. How many more towns will they try to destroy us? Who can say? But all the worlds know that our glorious army has once more been saved from us from certain doom. Yes. Um. To drunk boy. There you go. Nice. You should be able to win. God. Now these are just, these are just the infantry here. <sighs> we definitely need more output. Aerial bombs are nice. We need some engines as well. Come on, please don't lose, guys. Decent amount of manpower. 100% war support, which is good. NASA solid. I might go this one next to save on arm XP, maybe. Or oh, we're gonna get no, we're gonna get this guy. Attack repelled. The changes came at us, and then we sent him back. Despite the seemingly overwhelming status or status of the military, we sent the bugs fleeing from our land. What the bugs thought would be an easy war has turned into costly disaster for the army, and to defeat they will not soon forget. This is our lantern today. The changings have learned we won't give it up without a fight. Yar. Well, at least we won. That's good. You, on the other hand, scavenger, take as much as they freaking got. Um, they might immediately go to war with us. I really have no idea. So we'll train. You know what? Get more stability for now, because stability is going to go down once we go to war. It, it, it will hurt us. So probably get engineers next, maybe, because well, I just want to defend. That's all I care about defending. God dang it! I wish they didn't take this though. I'll come back for him though later on. Captain's dream. We need more than twelve factories. Well, we don't have twelve. Let's spare the penguins. Ah. Okay. Look at that. Good. Turn as well. Uh, even if crushing the enemy with artillery is more efficient, that is not the bare way. Where is no brutality up close or the clash of melee. Oh, I already earlier, so. Oh, a great push, too. Oh, that's what we good to do. Updated industrial sector. Against all odds, against reason, against any all real or perceived limits, our scientific and technological might is grinding onwards. By the will of the over tyrant and by the will of the Me mechanites, we're reaching levels from before collapse and grinding even beyond. That'll be the next one we really want to do. Cryptology. Oh, wait. Uh, I saw. Let's go get engineers first. So we'll definitely do that one. Um, industry, yeah, set up mechanites in our capital. Mechanites have forsaken their clan, their tradition, their gods. It would seem insane to allow them anywhere near our capital before. But now we have ourselves forsaken many such things. We may not agree on a topic, but survival uh, it necessitates cooperation. Power made from nothing. Powering our advanced weapons and industries isn't easy, not with the few resources that we still have access to. And yet again, we're forced to rely on technology to compensate for what we lack. And in this case, let's hope that mechanized mo methods of producing fuel from certain sources are enough. Implement heretical models of production. There are many advancements that were deemed to be unsuitable and heretical for our bare way of life, but for those methods were seen as too imitating of how production was done by griffins, but now they are seemingly efficient, and that's all that matters now. Um, anything else over here? Make sure we produce some good stuff. Um, naval stuff doesn't really matter too much. Definitely won't get that guy. Oh, yeah, this guy get oh five percent more. Oh, that's nice too. Keep putting against constructing things. Nice. Great push. An academia, or academy for warriors and warlords. We do not have the luxury of separating our warriors um, and commanders from the t academics and scholars too. Uh, too few of us left for that. Not to mention any of survivor uh, shows unique perspectives, which could be useful for necessary re research. Let the great furnace burn. Well, that's be good. Our armies are swell with nomad raiders, former exiles, halfway savage beasts, and all these survivors and monsters need weapons. And someone must provide, and thus the furnaces will burn day and night to provide the machinery to strike down our foes. Um, we have enough, so give them the pounds of beyond. Because they'll be back. 
I promise you that. They will absolutely be back. So I don't know. Are Panzerborn considered infantry? That's my main question. I have no idea. So we're going to keep doing this. Uh, the eternal polar bear like monstrosity with six limbs and covered in shaggy white fur. Its great mouth is filled with wicked and sharp teeth with two great bangs that could pierce skulls at the front. It may walk up around two legs of bear like on four, but other times it uses all six limbs. It's greater in size than any bear and stronger by far. Actually, is there anything else we can grab here real quick? Um, research speed's not bad. War industrialist. War sport. But yeah, we're going to get granny bear, but we don't need granny bear yet. You know what? Oh, I'll grab this person first. Dang it. Let's get the dream. Ah, fifth research slot. Goodness. They'll be back. Are you suffering from actual attrition or. Bad supply. Oh. God dang it. Um. How long is that going to take? Oh, it's going to take so long to do that. If that's the case, I want you two to come up here for a second. That might save us a little bit on supply. Hmm. Would that help out? Yeah, that would help out. But that leaves us open to a, an attack, which is not good. Huh. Exploit the weaknesses of others? We have been hardened, and yet countless others allow themselves to be weak, to be wasteful. While we cannot confront all these realms while they are fully prepared, most of them are not. And even if they are, oh, they are overly focused on single enemies, this gives us an opportunity. The dream. He dreamed once. Even when he was merely uh, on some mercenary waging wars, war, war, warlords didn't, truly didn't care for him. He held on to it even. He was forced to fight other bears for the first time in decades, his heart growing hard against uh, again after it melted from weakness in Griffonia. Even as his armies marched through the mad idea of cleansing the land from disloyalty, he still somehow believed that there would be greatness after all this, but there was no greatness, there was only ash, murderous traditions, and dead dreams, or so he believed. For time heals all, it seems, and even with the death, even with the ab ab abolition of clan traditions, destructions of lineages and cultures that endured for millennia, earth sign spirit endured, and like a great north northern land well shatters mounds of ice as it wakes up, so did the advance of the great iron city broke through his malaise. And now as he gazes from the balcony of the citadel, the center of the great iron city that houses a million bears, and sees the churning factories and great armory, armories marching, he once again starts believing. The unity and great might of the north is once again in his grasp. And perhaps with such a blessing, perhaps all fathers have forgiven him and bestowed upon him a destiny yet again. We march for the north, united in iron and blood once again. Empire Builder. Oh, cool. Mm. Okay, we're going to range. I don't like that. But action cost is way better, but still. Yeah, we'll get the eternal next. As long the Huntress. Uh, the Great Push West. It's better collapsed by the long different difficult period of change, all this time our weakness. Yet the changes have never attempted to challenge us properly during uh, during it. And now they're distant and occupied with some other threat. They've made a great mistake and it'll be their undoing. Eventually. Engineers are nice. Keep getting more weaponry and whatnot. Even though we get so used to rocks and whatnot, but still. Good. We're out of artillery, we're out of armor, but that's normal. Um, hey, 500, nice. Okay, push west, and then eventually we'll do as savage as us. For all this, bears on the other side of the key lake were all considered true, our true brethren, who were seen as less sophisticated, too savage, and too barbaric, even for a breed fame such as for such feats. But now we're as savage as them. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna be hanging out here then. What are, what are these guys doing now since they lost the battle? A lot of divisions. Queen Chrysalis. Embargoed. Plan Alicorn Sunset. Well, they're, that uh, looks like they're ready to go. Get more attack and planning speed and whatnot. Um, changing school of war. A Cantalot defeat. We've got some ships here and they're probably going to be trying to rebuild and whatnot. Oh, we only have one dock here. Oh, we got rid of the other. Oh, oh, god dang it. Um, huh. Interesting. So, um, uh, I might just end the episode here. At the beginning of the next episode, we'll probably be at war with the changelings. But that is yet to be seen as the quest is slowly dying. So, I think I might just end it here. Um, as we're trying to build up, you know, a port here, or I guess 
a supply hub, I should really say. So, But in the meantime, we'll probably just be trying to fill out the rest of these guys and get ready for war. So if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.